Built in 1928, this home was vacated and left abandoned in 2016. After a development company purchased the land to build a five-story residential and commercial building. When we explored the home, it had most of the original features intact and also had some strange features like a jungle room and sealed off rooms. Unfortunately, the house did not even make it to the wrecking ball. It was recently destroyed by fire. Inside of the kitchen, and this place already looks amazing. Just the old retro cabinets, the wallpaper. This is gonna be an awesome one. Let's get at it. You can see the old retro wallpaper. The cabinets, all the tiles are all cracking up on the floor. Look at underneath here. It's very damaged underneath the sink. This place is historic and it's so intact for its age. Some poppies on the wall. Oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. The old retro doorknobs are still on. We have a small bathroom right here, halfway painted over the wallpaper. Huh. Look at the sink even, that is so old. There is so much in here with so much age. I mean, even the sink in the bathroom, you look at it, it's so old. Look at the switches, look around this corner here. Yeah. Go around here. Look at the switches for those lights. That's original, 1920s. Yeah. Exactly. These are the original 1920s light switches. How freaking cool is that? This is a front entryway, but we'll go there later. <clears throat> Look at the wallpaper. Still the wood trim. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. You don't see that very often anymore. Have some decay in the ceiling. Look at the wood trim around the windows. Oh, this place is phenomenal. You yeah, have the wallpaper with the trim and everything. Yeah. And then even look at the woodworking and the doorways and the windows. The detail in the glass. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh. Just amazing. And then look at this room. More wallpaper. With the old style vents. And then a very nice fireplace. This place, this is history right here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you're all enjoying it so far. We're just gonna take a break here so I can hawk my merchandise to you. The store is fully up and running with not only t-shirts and things like that, but photo prints, photo prints onto different merchandise of all the adventures that you see on the channel here. Again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, go check out the shop. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go get back at it. And then look at this right here. Nice wood staircase. That, that is very nice. The old style light too. What is this in here? It has frosted glass on the door. Wow. Just, just the, the closet. Wood. Like even the wood inside the closet. Yeah. It's just like there's so much detail in these old places. Well that's why they're so amazing to see. They don't do it like that anymore. No. You don't ever see it. You don't see come in and see like nice solid wood with wood walls and the frosted glass. Right. And like even look at the wood right here, it's rounded. Yeah. 
Yeah. A lot of workmanship went into this house. Absolutely. Wow. Look at even that front window. More frosted glass. These guys are heading upstairs. So I will go down to the basement. If I can even find how to get to the basement. I believe it's back here. No, that's going upstairs. This is my kind of explorer. I always say it when I'm in these historic places. Love the mansions, they're tons of fun. But this is what exploring is about to me. A little bit of furniture down here. Not much. Old tablecloth hanging up. Look at the old stone foundation. Creepy little chair. What is in here? Look at this room. What is this? Oh, this is incredible. I did not expect this at all. Oh, this house is so cool. This is just a wood room. The panels are falling off of the ceiling. What are these? Capped off pipes. What the heck was this room? It has the wood and the pipes almost like a sauna. But it doesn't smell like a sauna. It doesn't have that cedar smell. And the floor is tiled with a drain running down the middle of it. I really don't know what this room would have been for. This is a sauna because you, that is the drain for if water. But it doesn't smell like a sauna. Look, the time is right there. Yeah, I saw the taps, the capped off tap, or the pipes, but it doesn't smell like a sauna in here. It doesn't have that cedar smell. It does, well, the walls are there. I think this was. I'm pretty sure this was. I don't know. There's the drains here. Yeah. So, I, I think this is a sauna, but I'm not. You know what, you're, you're right, because look. You've got where the thing where the rocks might have been right there. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. The bench could have been right here. Yeah. Okay, and so it's a drain, and so is that one. That's, that explains taps. Yeah. And, shit. and the lights. Uh, how many saunas do you see that have electrical outlets? Oh, that's true. That's true. Ooh. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, Maybe a steam room. Maybe a steam room. It still wouldn't be safe with an electrical outlet. Oh, this is. Awesome. Some old beer posters and stuff. And then just down in the corner, it's, it looks like a couple of dishes for a cat. Maybe in a coffee cup. Random. Look at all the spider webs. I don't know if you can see them on camera. They're everywhere. This is an actually painted white wood beam. It's a log. Not a wood beam, it's actually a log. Wow. 
Wow! You have the exposed wood beams up there and another log. There's log beams. Support beams, that's... I've seen many, like instead of having the actual wood beams in the ceiling in the basement, I've seen logs, I've never seen them used as support beams. This room. Oh, we'll wait till Carlo and Ethan see this. <laughs> wow. Wow. This place is incredible. I didn't even open this to look at it. Let's go up and check out the second floor on this house. And they've already warned me that it stinks up here. Look at the wood banister. Very uniquely shaped. That is so nice. Is there another floor? Third floor, yep. Nice. And there's something, wait till you see what's up there. Okay. It's, it's a mirror. A mirror wall? Is the whole hallway here? I think it, yeah it is. Oh yeah, look at how long this hallway is. Oh yeah, and then it goes around back. Oh wow. Yeah. And all the woodworking, everything's wood framed. Yeah. I got a bunk bed left behind. Water damage on the floor. Maybe the water. Hold on, what is this? Speaker system? It's a built in speaker system in the wall. Oh, wow. With the volume control. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Is that water on the floor? Yes, it is. Ooh. Hopefully, it's water. Yeah. Oh, a broken skateboard. Oh, yeah. A cage. Oh, I love this house. There is some more recent updates, like you can see the track lighting. That is, yeah. But it's all pretty original. A lot of it. Like all the woodwork. Oh, and even this the bathroom. bathroom. That bathroom's original. Really oh, yeah, look at the sink. Yeah. It's the top of the sink. It is, yeah. Jeez. Oh, there's that smell. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was waiting for it. I was like, you guys told me it stinks up here. Where is it? Where's the smell? Yeah, Not really that I want it. <laughs> Room of death right here. Oh, yeah. Spider Man. So, obviously, a kid's room. Oh, yeah, there's the smell. Oh, yeah, cat pee. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Must stay in here long. Woo. I don't know, yeah, it's cat pee in here. There's a built in speaker on that wall, too, but I'm not checking it out. Oh, every room has a built-in speaker. Was that some kind of old-school intercom? Could be. I don't know. I've never seen a house have a built-in speaker Not like with that. a dial. No. Very strange. Mm -hmm. If any of you have ever seen that before, please let me know. place is amazing. There's a closet. Well, they tried to cover up the old... Oh, ew. Yeah. Ew. They had the old original wood floors and they... Covered it up. Covered it up with cheap hardwood. Who would do that? Ew. Yeah, and they didn't even go all the way into the closet. They didn't do it all. They did behind the door. They didn't do a very good job. Oh, wow. Like it's just very poorly done. Why would they do that? Yeah. 
some damage on the ceiling there. Garbage and stuff on the floor. Oh, there's actually some old decorative plates and cups in here. Yeah. What do you think we're doing? Yep. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, that's nice. Look at the door handle. Oh, yeah. Is the other side the same? Yep. Nice. Yep. I thought there was another door going somewhere. It's just leaned up against oh. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, third floor it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, here you go. High school musical. <laughs> Oh, look at the shape up here. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this would be a nice little loft. Here's a heat vent. So, um, this. Okay, I don't know what's behind here. It's nailed shut. Oh. So, but there's like a whole other half of the house on the other side of this. I don't know why it's sealed. I thought that was weird. That is very weird. You know? <laughs> Makes me very curious. Very. I want to know what's behind there. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to today. No. Unfortunately, what's that on the ceiling? Is that a black piece of wood? Yeah. A bunch of holes in it? Weird. Very. And then a ceiling fan with water damage beside it. Oh yeah. Wow. This place is freaking awesome. Back in the kitchen at the starting point. What an awesome explorer. Full of history, full of surprises. Let me know what you guys found interesting about this one. If it was the history, the interesting rooms in the basement, or anything else that you saw that I might have missed. And make sure to follow these guys. Their info is going to be in the description. And I'll see you all on the next adventure.